We're back with Joe Rice, President and CEO of Mid Pacific Institute. So, Joe, how did you actually end up in Hawaii? Well, that's an interesting story. Um, I guess I'd go back clear to my service in the Peace Corps in the early 70s, uh, first in Afghanistan for two years and then Micronesia in Saipan, Mariana Islands for two years and stayed for another six. So I, I became familiar with island life, uh, Polynesian people, and it was, in retrospect, some of the best times I've ever had. Um, but I returned to Washington State as a teacher and later as a principal of a school. I was working in uh, North Seattle, head of a uh, public school, pre-K through eighth grade. It was a magnet school program, um, multi-age, non-graded. Um, and over the 12 years that I was there, it became fairly well known uh, for educational innovations, uh, showing that a public school can do anything that anybody else can do, uh, and that the unions won't stand in your way, and all these things. But one day I just got a call from um, a colleague that I knew as a consultant, uh, and he called me up out of the blue and said, could we have breakfast? And I thought, okay, sure. Went to Denny's and uh, sat there for two, hour, two hours while he asked me about uh, teachers and education, curriculum, teaching strategies, and all this. And I found out that he was a new principal at Mid-Pacific Institute in Hawaii. So I put the two to two together and said, oh, he wants the you know, wisdom of my 12 years as a principal. And uh, as we're going to the parking lot and getting in the car, he says, oh, by the way, our uh, president's retiring, are you interested? And I guess I found out then it was actually kind of a mini interview. I said, well, I'm not sure what a president does, but I'll talk to my family. And he said, well, if you if you are interested, I'd be happy to send you the materials. They did. I applied. Last of six to interview, and I was offered the job before I got on the plane back to Seattle. That's kind of how it came about. So what's been going on at MidPAC? I know that there's a lot of things happening, and maybe you can share some of the highlights of what's been going on? Well, I think I found when I first came that um, it was one of the best kept secrets in Hawaii. Uh, a wonderful place with a long history of uh, service to uh, not only Hawaii but the people of the of the South Pacific. And I just, um, I love the place. But you look at all the things you're doing and of course you know that there is nothing that's perfect. I don't care what the school is or business or anything. There's always things you can do to improve. And one of the things that I spent time on was uh, looking at the educational process, what our teachers were doing, uh, what they had for uh, support and resources, and to try to do something about that. We also looked at some of the structural things. Um, after I've been there now. This is my 10th year. About uh, four years in, we decided to add sixth grade. We were a 7 through 12 um, college preparatory school. We added sixth and then proceeded on to uh, make the 6th, 7th, and 8th a middle school, following the best educational research in how to educate young adults, uh, young adolescents, in a middle school uh, grouping. Um, a couple years ago, I convinced the board that it would be in our best interest to uh, have an elementary, that if you take a look at some of the best schools in Hawaii, private I'm talking about, uh, you will see that they're K-12. I also made a strong case for very early childhood education, and so we added a preschool. So we decided we either build our own from grade by grade, which some schools are doing, we would go out and buy one, or we would go out and uh, affiliate ourselves closer with a school. Uh, we ended up uh, merging with Epiphany uh, as our elementary. They were small, about 140-some kids. Uh, today, we're, and they were K through 6. Today they're pre-K with three and four-year-olds uh, through fifth grade, and they have 250 kids. So that has been added to the program. Uh, we've emphasized at the school our uh, belief in the importance of the arts uh, for every child. And it was always a big thing at Mid-Pacific. It's even more of a core to what we do. And then, um, certainly not finally, but on a bigger scene, uh, our commitment to math, science, and technology has moved ahead in a big way. Uh, in programs that we offer and also in facilities. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.